Uh, hello, everyone. This is the um, Dr. Wang, and uh, today uh, we will go through another algorithm for a graph. It's called the depth first search or DFS from the graph. Okay, and uh, so, okay, let's start. Okay, so the depth first traversal or search from the graph is similar to the depth first traversal from the tree. It's the only uh, the, the only uh, catch is the, it's not like the tree graph need may contain some circles. Uh, the, you know, that node may be visited twice. So we need to uh, avoid processing a node more than one time. So we need a building visited array. So a graph can be, uh, can have more than one um, DFS traversal. Okay, now uh, let's see, we have four nodes and the six edges like here. And uh, so we, we have a one to two, one to zero to one, zero to two, one to two, two to zero, two to three, and three to three. So the DFS from vertex is one, two, zero, three. And uh, here we can so we can see from one to two, and then two, um, mm, one, two, and then zero, and then three. Okay, because there's an edge. And also uh, another one is a, uh, uh, mm, we can say it over again, okay. okay. From, from two to zero to one to three, and then finish, okay. And, uh, and uh, so uh, something to notice is the depth of first search is the algorithm for traverse or searching tree or data uh, graph data structure. The algorithm starts as a root node and then selecting some uh, arbitrary nodes as the root node in the case of graph, and then explores uh, as far as possible along each branch before uh, break uh, backtracking. And so the basic idea is to start from the root and uh, or any uh, arbitrary node and make the node and then move to the uh, adjacent and mark the node and then continue this loop until there's no unmarked adjacent node and then trace back and, uh, and check for uh, other and mark the nodes and then traverse them and finally put the nodes in the path. But uh, there are three basic steps to this problem. Firstly, uh, you need to create a recursive function that checks the index of the node and uh, with the array. And secondly, is to make uh, the current node as with the and then print the node. Thirdly, is to traverse all the adjacent and unmarked nodes that can call the recursive function until you know with the index of the adjacent node. So let's start to do the coding. Ah, uh, okay. Firstly, we need to import uh, java.io.star as uh, all the IO and import uh, Java uh, util because this is what we this is what we do all the time. And then we will change the class name to graph, and then we will start to do the coding. And again, we will um, we will define a private uh, variable called the big weight. That it will be the number of vertex, and also we will uh, uh, define a, a private uh, linked list of integers. Uh, this is the will uh, uh, the uh, matrix. Um, and then we will define the graph uh, initialization function with a number of the nodes. And uh, so uh, we give, we assign the value of big V to small V and then uh, the changes will be uh, nulled by the, uh, the linked list of uh, n, n values uh, because n is number of uh, the vertex. And then for uh, for all the i, uh, start from zero until uh, i smaller than small v and until you know plus plus i. 
we will also uh, make the uh, uh, the density uh, vector of i as a new link list. And then we will add another function to add the, the uh, to add to add the edges. So add edge. To add edge, we will need a v and a w. V is the source and w is the destination. And then we will see okay at at g at at g we will add a new neighbor. Uh, and the new neighbor's name is W. Okay, now we will do a uh, divide of a function which is used by the uh, depth first search, so which will be called the DFS util. So void DFS util with the int v with boolean visited array. So within this function, we will say, okay, firstly, I want to set the visited array of a way to true. And then we will print this uh this this node. Okay, and after that, we will do one thing. We will uh, take all the uh, neighbors of this uh, we as the integer. And then we will do one thing. We will have a while loop. And within this while loop is i has a next. That means the neighbor's queue is not empty yet. Then we will do one thing is, uh, firstly, we'll take the neighbor as neighbor's next, next. And then we will, uh, if we will check if these uh, neighbors, it will detail a note. So we will check with the data n. Uh, is uh, true or, or not, if not true, then we will do one thing. We will do, say, okay, I will want to call you to do the NF as an uh, util. So this is the recursive function that we mentioned. We will start from you again and give the new with the data uh, array so that, you know, we can and do it over and over again uh, until uh, what happened until there's uh, no uh, neighbors no I mean there's no um there, there there's no next uh, uh, in the neighbors and uh, so that that's the NIFS you tell function and with this function uh, we will do uh, we, we can do the mean you know, we can write the mean function. Now, so firstly, we will build a graph. So, okay. So graph G is a new uh, a graph with uh, four uh, vertex. And then uh, this graph, we will add uh, an edge between uh, zero and one. And then a lot of other graphs, uh, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, zero to one and zero to two, and one to two, and uh, two to zero, and uh, two to three, and uh, three to three. Okay, after we build the graph, we will call the function uh, of DFS and uh, uh, see what we did will happen. We, uh, uh, we will start from node number two and uh, do the travel so with the uh, depth first. 
uh, search algorithm, and then we would check like this. There's a problem. Uh, cannot find the symbol G. Uh, I think. The function name is dffu tail two. It has a uh, int boolean. Uh, with the data, we need to define the with the data uh, function, which is not defined yet. Uh, I think um, then we need to uh, say, okay, we define another function to call the dff util so that function is df as the mean dfs function with a start <clears throat> node and then we first we uh, define the boolean uh, with it in the uh, list uh, as list as new uh, boolean uh, list with the way elements of uh, for all the vertex and then the uh, df as tail function will be called with the input the start uh, vertex and the with the date uh, array. So that in your main function, you just call the dfs function. Okay. Now, 2013, uh, that is exactly what we are expecting. And the time complexity of this algorithm is the O V plus E, V is the number of vertex, and the E is the number of edges in our uh, graph. And then Alex, uh, 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 the the space will be O V, and uh, since there's extra uh, with the data re of size, uh, V is required. Okay, that is all for the DFS algorithm. We use a recursive function to implement this uh, traversal. Thank you. Bye-bye.